It's fun to hear about this team describing themselves as quote unquote crazy. And you can definitely see some of those elements as one of their team members actually did a backflip off the monkey bars. And we'll see how wild they get in their game strategy here as their first round game unfolds. And maybe we'll see their robot make some similar twists and jumps to amaze as this competition gets going. In terms of this two and a half minutes again, this time truly does fly by. You've also got on that Aqua Alliance that's competing in terms of Rwanda, the continent of Africa. Again, one of our six continental uh, teams that's going to be out here and then Armenia. If we get the Telestrator up and running, you can see over in this corner this referee pointing basically at the fact that we've got one of these teams in that neutral zone, which is going to be a penalty infraction against Team Hydro and earning points for Aqua, as you can see down here in this lower left corner. So again, when we have penalties, it's not taking points away from a team, but instead giving it to others. If we can start zooming in a little bit on some of this action, we can focus on a couple of these specific teams. Now, right now, you see that funnel effect that's happening at the front with that spinner. Collecting both balls, I gotta imagine it's somewhat difficult to try to sort these out, but you can see on both the right and the left-hand side of that robot, those blue and orange balls that are in two different spots. I gotta imagine that with regards to robotics, making sure that you're able to do that is completely effective in this game where you've got different point strategies that each team is trying to work out. Looks like that's Team Venezuela that's now working its way up the bridge and starting to get some of those points as it tries to clear into that lab. And we're going to clear the Telestrator as well. In terms of this last minute, Team Aqua has jumped up to that 11-point lead. They're doing a pretty good job here at getting some distance. And we're going to see right now an unloading from Team Venezuela. And one of the judges trying to funnel and help some of those balls in there. Hopefully they don't stall out. Those points should start registering up here. You see the, the score jump to 36. Goodness gracious, what a good jump for them. In terms of the middle of the field, again, you're seeing some of these countries that are stalling out. That looks like Zambia that's in the middle of that river. And as this flood starts making its way in, these teams are going to start making their way towards the riverbanks and get to those hanging bars. Again, in terms of this competition, it's been very difficult for these teams to try to get that cooperation bonus to empty out that central river of those contaminated particles. You see in the middle, there are a solid eight or nine of them out there, even though those balls are continuously flowing until they get 10 in the lab upstairs and off of that bridge. Um, those orange and blue balls are gonna continue flowing out. So it makes it really difficult for some of these teams to try to earn it. But you see that score jumping and jockeying up as we hit the last five seconds here to close it out. In terms of the scores that are gonna pop up here in a couple of seconds, we had Team Aqua that had that really good job in terms of Armenia getting some contaminant points for them getting 50 in terms of the Hydro's 27, so a good jump for them.